Writing. Yeah. Tonight was almost a complete disaster. Almost. Almost. Almost a complete disaster. I think we were a second too late on that one. The idea behind tonight's raid was that we were going to do a big crits and raid warning live in ICC. We we're going to live stream our raid in ICC with Seven and hopefully Brian from Raid Warning and drink some beers, have some fun, do some achievements, get some drakes in the guild, get some more drakes in the guild. Mods. How did we fail I saved you, Stoney. Seriously. Everyone was the drunkenness was fast and occurred quickly, so we didn't get very far. We failed on Boned. That's how uh, drunk we were before we even started. Well, it was 10 in the morning for me, but everyone was drinking. So, I asked if I should, and they said they'd do it, so, fuck it, I did. A lot of drinking was involved. I actually wasn't drinking, because I don't drink, because I'm fucked up enough when I'm sober. So I was kind of like the DD, you know, so I could like keep healing you bitches even when the pallies were too drunk to tell their flash of light, apart from just, like, straight up flashing people. Like, you know, by, by like, exposing themselves. Don't kill that other yeah, fanatic, guys. I need Don't psycho him, I'm gonna kill him. Cause, it, Cause I'm sexy. Just kill her. And the idea here was that we were going to uh, we we're going to work on Sindragosa. We we're going to do uh, all you can eat, which requires not getting more than five stacks of mystical buffet or mystic buffet or whatever it buffet is called. So you can't get more than five stacks. That's all about phase three, as is typical with Sindragosa, horrible fight that it is, that nothing matters. Phase one and phase two don't matter for a damn. So it all comes down to phase three. So what happens? Phase three, very first person to pop Mr. Buffett, Lahi. Actually pulled him out of the raid and replaced him with another DPS, any e. Gqua. There's a little bit of a story behind it. Um, he was playing so poorly that I honest to God, I thought that I thought that he was just trying to fuck up my raid. So let's rewind. We go to Lady Death Whisper on regular mode, working on full house. I say very clearly. Don't, it's marked. Don't touch it. Don't, DP, don't DPS it. What does he do? He finds a he finds a he finds one of the mobs with a mark on its head and destroys it. Let alone it's the fucking abomination one that a hunter is supposed to kite. Whoa, Lahi, stop attacking the diamond. Uh, shield is gonna come Dude, down. Stop soon. it, guys! There's still a portal. Guys, we're gonna fail! Guys, Lahi, there's no fucking portals up! Guys! We're gonna fail the achievement! There's a portal! There's a portal still up! No one's taking the portal! Lahi, the fight is over! We got the fucking achievement! Guys, there's still a portal! And we lost it. So That's we fine. Sure, big crits. We let people die. <laughs> He's called a G quit. But my call to pull him from the raid, because honest to God, what would you do? What would you have done? Whatever. Bye. Good riddance. And I'm just going to continue with mine. Group up. She's going to do an insight. And, um, we killed some stuff. Overall, I say we did pretty good for how drunk we were and how much fun we were having uh, during the raid. Hey, 
You know, we're big crits. We just have fun with it. No more chunks of mammoth. No more chunks of mammoth. How I you want mean, you to think about that. You mean I've got to go out and, and do the farming that I've been doing this whole fucking expansion? <laughs> hey!